tomorrow begins the final leg of what I think is the ultimate gas station tour. I'm setting out to achieve something that no one has ever accomplished. I'm on a mission to visit every single Quick Trip location here in the Midwest. That's over 877 stores altogether. And what's better is that we'll all be done on my motorcycle. Morning, day four. I am out in Sioux Falls, South Dakota still. Just did some bike maintenance that was absolutely necessary. I'm like 15, yeah, 1,500 miles in and it's chain needed to be clean for sure. So I am about, I didn't do the exact calculations, but I know I'm about halfway through the rest of the stops that I need to finish because I had 233 left and I know for sure I'm over 100 probably closer to that like halfway mark so we're gonna make our way back to Minnesota now I say there's always a first time for something and today was the first time I had a casualty with my bike I was getting off the interstate and there were two ducks that were flying pretty low. One of them wasn't quite there, but the other one tried to get high enough away from my bike and ended up clipping the side of my saddlebag. Saddlebag's fine, but the duck on the other hand, I looked back in the mirror and I was like, this is sad, sad day. It always hurts <laughs> when something like that happens, I don't know. But we're fine, just sad, very sad. So, unfortunately, most of the day today was just long miles of getting quick trips that are way out in the, in the rural areas, pretty much. I'm up to, like, almost 500 miles, and I really haven't gotten a lot of stores. I will shortly, because I'm heading into the city of St. Cloud and Minneapolis. Am I missing that word right now? <laughs> I don't know how far I'll get tonight. I'm going to go until I can't, just because I know later this evening will be easier to do some of the city ones when there's not a lot of traffic and it's a little more quiet and I can just kind of check them off. So we'll see, because um, I know it just gets, it gets interesting <laughs> as the night goes on. And I, I might just wait until I like, find a hotel and do them in the tomorrow morning too. We're just gonna we're gonna play by ear. Right now it's eight o'clock, a little after eight, so I'm gonna give myself another hour, hour and a half, maybe two. So it's hard to turn my brain off. Like I am wired to just go. Like there is no let up. I wanna go to the next one and then the next one and then the next one until I'm pretty much exhausted. But I looked at my timing and my routing that I had planned out, and I'm a full day ahead of what I have planned out. So it's like, is this necessary? Honestly, it's not a competition. I'm not up against anybody to win anything. This is just a personal challenge of mine. So I took a step back and was like, you know what, Whitney? Let's just find a hotel room. It's pretty much dark now. Why not? So, found a hotel room, got a take home meal, gonna enjoy that tonight, get a solid good night's rest in, and start again tomorrow. Because tomorrow's, <laughs> tomorrow's route is gonna be fun because it's a lot of city stops, like so many stops. I'm probably gonna average, or probably gonna get over 60 at least. I haven't looked at what I got today because it was a lot of mileage. I was over 500 miles for sure, probably closer to six, maybe even seven. Honestly, I don't have to look at my phone, but I'll put the little recap after this video short. But yeah, I just, I can't, it's hard to rewire my brain and just be like, chill out. So that's what I'm gonna do, eat my meal and go to bed. Day four complete. <laughs> I'm 
with the local dealerships here to see if they can help with some of the maintenance on my bike that are, is needed to be done because in all honesty I'd rather have a tech help me out and do this than me trying to do it myself with just my brute strength and my travel tools. Look how cute this is. This is the actual gas station. Look at the gas pumps.